Trump live tweet Sunday afternoon mental breakdown like a future chain hanger. People had begun to call Fox News Trump TV, state run TV, and the Trump propaganda channel. That might still might be so for some of Donald Trump's best buddies in the evening, such as Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity. Now, though, POTUS is trying to get weekend anchors fired for telling the truth. Aka journalism. Trump tweet attacked weekend anchors Arthur Neville, Leland Vittert, and Shepard Smith. He said they should go to CNN due to their ratings collapse. Were at Fox News weekend anchors, at Arthur Neville and at Leland Vittert, trained by CNN prior to their ratings collapse. In any event, that's where they should be working, along with their lowest rated anchor, Shepard Smith. The commander in chief has been walking closer and closer to the edge of delirium. These weekend hosts simply reported the truth about Trump, his prejudice, his cruelty, and his winning at any cost. The man who occasionally sits in the Oval Office cannot bear the truth. Instead, he demands that all who want to remain on his good side fawn over him, just look at his televised cabinet meetings. The president will do anything to maintain his base including spawning prejudice so broad that the New Zealand mass shooter put Trump's name in his manifesto. Yet, our commander-in-chief has been begging Fox to bring back one of his all-time favorites Judge Jeanine Pirro, whom the network disciplined after her Muslim rant. Trump said, Fox News must fight back with vigor. The radical left Democrats, working closely with their beloved partner, the fake news media, is using every trick in the book to silence a majority of our country, Fox News must stay strong and fight back with vigor. Then, the President of these United States urged the network to not worry about being politically correct. Trump repeated his mantra of be strong and prosper, be weak and die. Stop working so well hard on being politically correct, which will only bring you down, be strong and prosper, be weak and die.